welcome to a new month. And this month is going to be a fun month. I know I get excited about every month, but I'm excited about this month because it's going to be fun. And this month's topic is writing a new narrative. Mm, doesn't that just sound like fun? So we're going to be working on writing our new narrative. But before we can write a new narrative, we have to know what our old narrative is. And a lot of times our old narrative is subconscious. We're not really aware of it, but it drives everything, single thing that we do. And it is so important that we get to narrate our own story and that we get to write our own story. And many of us unconsciously are still living our lives based on stories written by other people or based on stories narrated by other people or based on stories narrated by a younger version of ourselves who no longer is able to give us the ending or the outcome that we desire. Now, they were great at narrating that story maybe when we were teenagers or when we were in our 20s or our 30s, but now it's time for a new story. I don't know how many of you have watched this show, Westworld. It is a wild show, and I just started watching it. But what's very interesting is that there's this whole artificial intelligence that was created, like a colony of artificial intelligence individuals. And they are not human, but they know the importance of choosing their own narrative enough that they start an entire revolution so that they can come off of the story loops that they've been on that were created by the humans and choose their own story in order to create their own world. But like those characters on the West World, sometimes we find ourselves in a story loop. Have you ever noticed that you have a pattern of behavior or that you have circumstances that keep repeating themselves. It might be in a relationship. The first relationship ends the same way the second relationship ends. It might be at a job. You go from job to job to job, but the same issues come up. The same outcome comes out of it. Those are story loops. There's something going on in our subconscious mind that is creating and replaying those stories. And they continue to replay until we become conscious of what that story is and we decide to change it. But that's the beauty of it. We can change and write a new narrative at any time. It doesn't matter if we're 20, if we're 30, if we're 60, if we're 70. I have examples of clients who've written new stories and they are 67 years old and now they're living and having the impact of a new story. So there are a few things that I wanted to share about creating a new narrative. We're going to talk about how to identify our old narratives and then how to decide if those narratives are serving us and then how to create a new narrative if they are. So with any story, first I'd like to say that you are an expert storyteller. We are all expert storytellers. We tell stories to our children, we tell stories to our bosses, we tell stories to our neighbors. It's part of being human that we know how to tell stories. Now we can get better at telling our story though. We can get better at telling our story and have an even greater impact. When we choose what our new narrative is, we choose who our ideal audience, our niche audience is, and we tell an impactful story. So the first thing that we have to look at is you wanna begin with the end in mind. Have you ever listened to a story where the person really didn't know where the end was and they're taking you along this path and it's winding and it's going here and it's going there and at some point you're thinking about your grocery list, you're thinking about something else and then you might come back. That's not the type of story we want to tell. We want to tell a story that captivates our audience, whether that audience is ourselves or whether it's someone outside of ourselves. So we want to begin with the end in mind. We want to ask ourselves, what do we want the outcome to be? Because now that we're taking control of our own narrative, we get to decide the outcome. Do we want the outcome to be that we are a multimillionaire or a billionaire? Hey, that's a great outcome. If that's the outcome we want it to be, then we 
redesign our story in order to have that outcome. So we're gonna start with the end in mind. We are going to determine what we want the outcome to be because we have that choice. And we're gonna know who our niche audience is. Is this our internal story that we're rewriting and we are our audience? Or is this a story that we're gonna share with the world that's gonna change millions of lives? Or we're gonna share with people close to us that's gonna have an impact on them. So that makes a difference in the story. And the other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna raise the stakes. Because some of us may have identified our old stories like I have. Some of us may have created a new narrative like I have, but it's time to raise the stakes. So I wanna challenge you all, whatever your new narrative is, raise the stakes. Look at what your outcome is, look at where your story is, and raise the stakes. We have a whole month to be playful, to have fun, to create our new narrative, and to raise the stakes. The other thing is write stories, right? You have multiple stories that happen to you every day. Take the time at the end of the day, five or ten minutes, just to journal about what your stories are. Journal what has happened throughout the day. And as you write these mini stories, it will help you create your larger story. It will help you create your overall narrative. So those are some of the things that we're going to um, work on. I just took some notes because I wanted to make sure that I included all of the important parts. And I think that I did. I think I included all of the important parts um, about how we're going to create this new narrative. And then think about what you want to do with this new narrative. Do you want to use this new narrative to influence people? Do you want to use this new narrative to get the dream job? Do you want to use this new narrative to change your marriage, change your relationship, or attract a spouse? Do you want to use this new narrative to become a public speaker? Do you want to use this new narrative to write a book? Do you want to use this new narrative to catapult yourself to your next level of success? Because that next level of success guarantees starts with you creating a new narrative internally in your mind. So think about all the different ways that you want to use this new narrative. So as we're working through identifying our old narrative and creating our new narrative this month, you know where you want to target it. And it doesn't have to be just one. It can be multiple new narratives you create. Our stories are powerful. Your story is powerful. So I am so excited for us to have this opportunity to really write the story of the life that we want to live, to decide, to narrate our own story, to write our own story, and to let go of those stories that no longer serve us. So that's what we're going to be working on this month. I'll have lots of tools for us to use. Um, and like I said, we're going to use a new style of coaching called ontological coaching, where we're going to have some fun. So I'll see you in the queendom, and I'll see you at the next Kutana. Take care.